All right, so this is the solution for frappy number four. It says arsenic is a naturally occurring chemical that can enter groundwater through eroding granite and from and from a burned forest. And health organization recommends drinking water should contain no more than what, 10 parts per billion of arsenic. A company produces filters to clean arsenic from private wells that could be affected by the groundwater. The company wants to investigate the effectiveness of a new filter compared to that of an old filter. They will test the filters on a field that is bordered on one side by a granite ledge and on the other side by a burned forest. The field is divided into eight square plots of equal size and a well to collect groundwater is drilled to the center of each plot. One filter will be used in each well. The following diagram shows the placement of the wells in the field. The company will use four of each type of filter to conduct the investigation. A randomized block design will be used. Okay. So part A, assuming that the different, there is a difference in the effectiveness of the two filters, under what conditions will a randomized block design be better in detecting the difference than a completely just randomized design? All right, so rather than just doing a, so if we just think about this for a second, what would be the advantage of doing a randomized block rather than just randomized? Well, if it's just strictly randomized, we could end up with, let's say, all four of these are the new wells, or use the new filter, all four of these use the old filter. But the problem with that is we've got different things. We've got the burned forest and the granite ledge in there. And that can cause, so it wouldn't be, give us a really good idea about our, how everything's going. We need to be able to compare similar things. And that's the key about this. We need to be able to get, find a comparison using some similar aspects. All right. So it, because of the fact all four of these wells, five through six, eight, five, six, seven, and eight are all along the burn forest, and one, two, three, and four is by the granite ledge. So if we have those based upon and set as a block, that's going to help because they have something in common. They have where they're located. All right which could mean that they have similar arsenic levels. All right, so let's write this up. A randomized block design would be better in detecting A difference in the filters than a completely randomized design because there is an aspect of half of the wells Oh, I spelled half twice. That has a similar location. So granite ledge. or burned forest
which word the similar locations would have similar arsenic levels concentration levels, we'll say that because it's talking about concentration levels okay, alright, that's part A Part B, identify the wells by number that would be included in each block. So, kind of already talked about it, we're going to look at the ones and next to the granite ledge as one block and the ones next to the burn forest as one block. So. The wells closest to the granite ledge wells one, two, three, and four. We have to name them. Should be one block. The second block would be the wells closest to the burn forest. And this would be wells five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And that's all we have. To, we have to just identify in it, the wells and it, by number that would be included in each block. And we did. Describe how to assign filters to wells to create a randomized block design. All right. So it told us that we have two type. We have um, two filters. We have the old filter and the new filter. We need. We're going to use. Um, equal amounts. So for the first block we need to have two fil two of them have old filters and two of them have new filters. So a couple ways we could do it. So if we want it completely randomized we want to then possibly pull um, slips out of paper, uh, slips of paper out of a hat. Um, if by flipping a coin you're in the, one thing you might be thinking about is maybe okay I'll have half odd the odds will get this one, the evens. That's not necessarily completely randomized. It is a randomized way of doing it, but it's not completely randomized. So the slips of paper is probably the better route to go. So the new filter, and remember, you need to be able to explain this enough so that you, if this was given to somebody, they could run this experiment. And the old filter. will be assigned to the same number or same amount of wells, let's put it that way. Okay, so this indicates that we're going to have equal value, equal, equal ones for the first block. All right. right on slips of paper wells 
one, well two, well three, and well four. Place the slips in a pit hat. And mix around. You might be wondering why we're going to do that. Just so you know, they're all jumbled up. You need to indicate some way that they're just not laying in there. So it makes it more random. And mixing the slips. Now this next part, you could say every other one that is drawn is odd is the old filter and the new filter or you could say the first two drawn are the old filters first two drawn are the new filters whatever there's lots of different ways you can go from here as long as you fully explain it so let's say the first two tr two slips and again without replacement we're not going to put them back in the bat back in the hat We'll get the new filter. And the remaining. Wells. We'll get the old filter. Okay. So that's the first block. Now we need to do the second block. And so for the second block is pretty easy. All we have to do is we can say we can repeat this process for the set for the wells five, six, seven, and eight to determine which is which filter is assigned. For the second block, the process will be repeated. For wells five, six, seven, and eight to determine which filter is assigned to which well. All right. That's it. This was just a quick review about experimental design. If you have any questions, please talk to me.